Hi friends, thanks for joining me today. My name is Heather. I love making lifestyle videos. Anything from cleaning to wellness to cooking, meal hauls, you name it. If you like that kind of stuff, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and like this video. So today I am going to share with you what I bought at the grocery store. I actually just got back, so I'll share with you what I bought. And also if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll share with you our family of five meal plan for this week. It happens to be Halloween week. And then one thing you might not know about me is I am also a food blogger. So a lot of the groceries that I pick up are for the blog, for the recipes that I make for the blog, and then also what we eat for the week. So I would love for you to join me and let's get to it. So today I shopped at our local Walmart marketplace. It's kind of a smaller Walmart store that specifically just has groceries. It happens to be the closest grocery store to us. So I thought I would just run there real quick this morning and bought a bunch of good stuff. So let me show you. So today we have a bunch of after school activities. It basically starts from when the kids get home from school until almost bedtime. I'm gonna be making their favorite crock pot chicken noodle soup, which I think I showed you in another video that I can link down below. Uh, so I got some celery and some carrots, which I'll use some of this for the soup, but then I will just cut up the rest and use it to snack on. And I bought some boneless skinless chicken breast, of course some chicken stock, and then I'm using this pasta for the chicken noodle soup tonight. Next, I bought some butter, lettuce, salad, and also some baby spinach. I use the baby spinach in salads and then also our smoothies that we sometimes have in the morning or for an afternoon snack. I just throw this right in with the frozen fruit and they don't even know it's in there, so that's great. Bought some strawberries. It, we always have strawberries on hand. They're great for snacking. I'll clean them up here after the haul and then put them in the refrigerator again just for snacking. Next up, I bought these little English cucumbers. They're called cucumbers, mini seedless. But anyway, sometimes I'll buy the English cucumbers or these guys. They're great just to chop up for salads or again for snacking and lunch boxes. I just like how little they are, easy for the kids to eat. They really like them. And then let's see here. More in the produce aisle. Got some tomatoes for salad. I bought these pomegranate seeds. I'm using these actually for my blog this week. I'm making a pumpkin hummus. So I'm gonna use these to put on top of the pumpkin hummus. And then apples, we really can't go without apples here in the house. I just bought some Gale apples. I try to get the organic apples. I don't think these are, I just grabbed them real fast. They didn't have much out today. All right, next up, some of these chicken apple sausages. I find that these make great, quick and easy dinners. My kids love them. I What I typically do for the kids is slice them up into little slices, cook them in a pan on the stove. They love them that way. They'll dip them like in ketchup or barbecue sauce with a side of vegetables and dinner is served. Sometimes for me and my husband, I'll chop them up and then mix them in with some zoodles and other vegetables. So they're just great, versatile thing to have in the refrigerator. And then some eggs. We use these, uh, we make hard boiled eggs for snacking, for breakfast. I like to make egg sandwiches. Next up, I mentioned it's Halloween week. So we moved to a larger neighborhood than we used to live in. So. 
I already bought some Halloween candy, but after thinking about it, I don't think I bought enough. So I bought <laughs> one extra bag just to have on hand. I can't believe that's already coming up this week. And then I bought some chopped garlic. This is ooh, for the pumpkin hummus I'm making along with a bunch of other dishes. I use garlic all the time. And I just decided today to buy the chopped garlic in a jar to make it easy. And then again, for the hummus I'm making for the blog this week, some ground tahini. This is great to use when you're making your own hummus and you won't believe how easy it is to make your own hummus. And then to finish up the hummus, we have our chickpeas or garbanzo beans. I bought a couple cans of those. So hopefully my kids will try the hummus. They usually love hummus with pretzels and we do already have some pretzels here. So I think that they'll like the pumpkin hummus. Then I got a bag of bagels. Sometimes for a quick breakfast, the kids like bagels with cream cheese or an egg and bagel sandwich. And for me, for breakfast, <clears throat> I've been eating a lot of Greek yogurt and granola. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of honey on top. I just like this protein oats and honey granola. And then some green tea. It has been so cold here. In fact, I think this week, tomorrow is supposed to be a low of one degree. <laughs> so I've been drinking a lot of hot beverages. <clears throat> and then I didn't get too many other things. We have some strawberry jam. My daughter likes that for her sandwiches. And I got some yellow cake mix. I think I'm gonna use this for a blog post this week. I'm gonna make something pumpkin-y, a pumpkin dessert. Some black olives again. I think I'm gonna be using this for something for the blog. Uh, chocolate checks. My girls love chocolate checks in the morning. And then some wheat thins and Ritz crackers for the hummus. And I think that's it. It was a pretty quick, oh, no, here we go. <laughs> One more thing. I bought some of this chicken rice. We have not tried this before. I thought the kids might enjoy it for a side dish. So I might try this along with the chicken apple sausages tomorrow night. Okay, let me share with you what we are going to have for the week. Well, today is actually Monday, October 28th. So this morning we had some cereal and fruit, and then for lunch I'm gonna have a salad. Kids will have a sandwich in their lunch box and some fruit and veggies. And then for dinner tonight, like I mentioned before, we're gonna have the crock pot chicken noodle soup. So again, I mentioned before that my husband is traveling this week for a few days, so our dinners are not super involved. <laughs> I tend to just keep things easy when he's gone. So the chicken noodle soup is just a super easy meal to have. <clears throat> and then for the blog, I am making the pumpkin hummus. And then for tomorrow on Tuesday, we'll probably have some bagels and maybe some eggs for breakfast before school. And then I will have a salad and probably a little yogurt parfait for lunch. The kids will have their typical sandwiches and then for dinner, I'm gonna make those chicken apple sausages with a side of spaghetti squash and maybe some roasted broccoli. For Wednesday, again, kind of go back to the cereal and fruit. We keep our breakfast pretty easy. I'll probably have a smoothie for lunch and then for dinner, we'll whip out the crock pot again and have some crock pot chicken tacos. This is a family favorite. Super easy, I just take the boneless, skinless chicken breast, add in some salsa, and maybe a little bit of taco spice, cook it, shred it up, put it in a taco shell, and there you go. And then for the blog, I'm gonna be making an impossible pumpkin cheesecake. That will be delicious. And then Halloween, I can't believe it's Halloween. For Halloween, we'll make some pumpkin muffins for breakfast. 
and I have those in one of my previous videos that I can link below. Super easy though, it's basically a box of cake mix, a can of pumpkin, and then I like to stir in some mini chocolate chips, but you can leave those out. Probably have another salad because I'm sure I'll be eating some of that pumpkin cheesecake and of course some candy. So I'm gonna need some vegetables. I'm going to make the kids sandwiches, but I might use a pumpkin cookie cutter to cut out pumpkin shaped sandwiches. And then for dinner, we will have crescent mummy hot dogs. So basically you take a can of crescent rolls and wrap it around a hot dog to kind of make it look like a mummy. I will link the recipe in the comments below so you can, or the subscription below, so you can see what those look like. They're super cute and great for Halloween. And then Friday we'll have some eggs, some protein to hopefully help us out with that sugar high from Halloween. And then for dinner, usually on Fridays we have pizza night, either Fridays or Saturdays. So I think Friday we'll have pizza night. And then Saturday, going to whip up some pumpkin pancakes and then lunch. I think I'll make just a simple vegetable soup. And for dinner, I'm going to have my husband grill some chicken and I will roast some vegetables. And then we will start again for next week. So that is what we will be eating this week, this week of Halloween. So please let me know in the comments, what are you going to dress up as or what will your kids be dressing up as for Halloween on Thursday? I have a Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, a butterfly, and a character from The Descendants. And I'm not sure if I'm going to dress up yet, so we'll have to see about that. But please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear all your ideas and what you guys are, go are going to dress up like. So please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you next time.